Hi, and welcome to another episode of Unscripted with Kathy. Today's episode is all about loss. For those who know me, you'd know that I recently lost my mom. And then two weeks after, I lost my dad. It's been 40 days since I lost my mom and... It's still hard. I think hard is an understatement. It still feels surreal. Apparently, loss will do that to you. Especially when it's someone that you actually care about. Someone you love. Someone that you really didn't think would be gone. I thought that for my entire life, my mom would be there. Truth is, I thought that I would go first because I was a very sickly person, as a very sickly child. But no, she went first. I realized so many things when she was gone. I realized that there were things I should have listened to and memorized because now I can't ask her anymore. I don't have any regrets, so to speak, because I told her everything I wanted. I gave her everything that I could. I made amends. And in the end, all that there was between us was just love. What I do miss is being able to just ask her, what do you think of this? What should I do about this? Is this the right thing? Am I being an ass? Things that I took for granted because I've always thought that she would just be there. Because I think that's how kids are. We think that our parents would always just be there. Because they've been there all our lives. And then I realized my mom had so many things. Like I already knew she had a lot of things. I didn't expect she had a lot of things. And it made me question myself. Everything that I have, do I also need it? Should I just give away the things that I do plan on giving away? Would I also be a burden to my kids when I'm gone and they have to sort through so many things? What we have, all of it, does it make us happy? And the ones that don't make us happy, why are we keeping it? I recently went through a lot of my mom's photos and I think one third I threw away because they were just photos of people long gone, people who no longer mattered, people who brought her heartache. Why did she keep it? Why should I keep it? And so I threw away those photos and I kept only the ones that really mattered. I still have a box of photos that I still need to go through, but most I return to their rightful owners, her siblings, her friends. So many things that have been fought for just left behind. And it really makes you think, why are we here? It's not for the material things. If the material things causes us pain, causes a lot of heartache, then it's not worth it. You shouldn't go after it. Because in the end, all that matters is what you had with that person. The memories, the moments, What you said, 
how much time you spent with them. That's all that matters. It's not the material things. It's not the house, the car. It's all the moments that you spend time with them. And I'm glad that I was able to do that with my mom. I'm glad that I was able to spend time with her. I'm glad that I was able to tell her, I love you, mommy, the night before she went. I haven't grieved yet. I don't have time to grieve. But I know I need to make time to grieve. I think this is the longest I've talked about her loss. About her being gone. It's been 40 days. And my friend said it doesn't get better. It doesn't get easier. But you get used to it. So this is me. Getting used. To not having my mom anymore. So if you still have your mom with you, and she's not the physically abusive, mentally abusive, or any kind of abusive type, if she's doing her best for you, but she's not perfect, no mom is. Love your mom. Say thank you. Say I love you. Because when they're gone, they're just gone.